A new set of massive fires erupting in red flag conditions and fanned by tropical storm force winds. And Governor Newsom has just declared a state of emergency in three hard hit counties, including Napa and Sonoma, where the glass fire is burning out of control, tripling in size today, now at more than 36,000 acres. As it spread, authorities say the fire burned one acre every five seconds. The flames engulfing homes, vineyards, and wineries. Tonight, the entire city of Calistoga has been ordered to evacuate. In total, more than 70,000 forced to flee, many in the middle of the night. Containment remains at 0%. Wine country looks more like the surface of Mars. Wildfire smoke turns the sky orange tonight. Some of that smoke is filtering into our area and farther north. The Zog Fire, that's the one in Shasta County, also raging out of control, burning more than 30,000 acres, sadly claiming three lives tonight. Governor Newsom issuing an emergency here as well. More on that in a few minutes, but first, let's start tonight with CBS 13 Steve Large, live in Santa Rosa, where the fire has destroyed homes. Steve. I want to show you exactly where we're standing, Anadel Park, and right on the edge of it, here's the map showing the location, and take a look how close we can get to the fire lines tonight. Literally right behind us, this is the glass fire. This is the glass fire burning in the hills above Santa Rosa right now, and it's a site that people who live here have become all too familiar with. Unpredictable and unrelenting. Flames from the glass wildfire wreaking havoc in wine country and creeping into neighborhoods where people live. This is about as close as we want to get to the flames burning on this particular hillside in Santa Rosa. You can see the flames just burning through the trees and the brush, turning them into matchsticks. And I'll stop talking for a moment. You can hear the crackling of the flames just chewing through the hillside. The glass fire hopscotched through the exclusive Santa Rosa neighborhood of Rincon Valley, leaving some homes destroyed, others untouched. Some people stayed behind during evacuation orders using garden hoses in an effort to stop the spread. Scared. Very sad. Elizabeth and Victor Prochaska's home survived this glass fire. They are not celebrating. We don't feel safe. David Oliver lives in Santa Rosa's Coffee Park neighborhood, rebuilt after the deadly Tubbs fire burned down nearly every home three years ago. It's complete deja vu. We're reliving it all over again. The glass fire has left him wondering whether this should be his forever home. We talk about it like, you know, well, this is kind of part of living here, but at some point it gets, is it worth it? You wonder. Another wildfire, leaving another round of destruction in its path. The big city of Santa Rosa, the Sonoma County seat, is taking a big hit again. Here we are live at the 10 o'clock hour. Another look at the flames of the glass fire burning in the hillside above Santa Rosa. Firefighters do have their eye on this particular fire line right now. We can come back here and I can tell you that, you know, from our vantage point, we saw three homes burned down. We have no official running total of the problems that we saw uh, with homes destroyed and damaged in Santa Rosa today. But of course, that's going to be something that will soon be coming out. Meantime, the city of Santa Rosa is saying that they're asking residents to stop uh, using their water to conserve as much of it as possible because they want to keep that pressure, that water pressure available for firefighters. It's important. All right, Steve. Well, the fire has burned or destroyed several famous wineries and many more are threatened. Let's go to Adrian now, tracking the latest images coming into our newsroom, Adrian. Yeah, they're pretty powerful, guys. This fire has been fast moving and unpredictable. Flames have damaged or destroyed at least seven vineyards that we know of at this point, with many more still in jeopardy tonight. Now, we want to show you some video of Chateau Boswell Winery in St. Helena. Flames moved at freeway speeds across the, po the popular property. And take a look at what is left of this property. You can still see things smoldering, parts of the building burned down to the foundation. Also on the Silverado Trail, the Black Rock Inn was destroyed by flames. It's a well known boutique bed and breakfast in downtown St. Helena. Crews just could not get water on it fast enough to save it. And early this morning, air tankers were seen dropping retardant near other wineries. The co owner of Mending Wall Winery saying flames burned right up to the tasting room doors. Now, take a look at 
what the legendary Meadowood Resort looked like. This is back in 2016. It's known, of course, for its Michelin three-star restaurant and croquet field. But this is what the five-star hotel looked like earlier today. One of the main buildings there on fire, flames surrounding the tennis courts there, patio chairs burning, and a thick gray haze just sitting over that entire beautiful property there. Sadly, guys, those images, eerily familiar sights for so many there in Sonoma County. This fire coming just one month after the Wahlberger fire. Yeah, it's just keep on coming. Well, a bright spot emerging from the devastation as a family whose home was destroyed searched for their dog, Kona. The German Shepherd ran into the woods to escape the flames. Sean Maher's daughter and others called and searched for hours. It was the one piece to her past she wanted to save. It's been my childhood house growing up. It's hard to see it gone. We'll get ready to smile because after a few hours, there's Kona. She came running to the sounds of her family's voices, tired and dehydrated, but alive. Thank goodness. Well, the flames spewing smoke and ash into the sky. And take a look at this. A woman in Santa Rosa holding a piece of ash as big as her face.